Hi there, Pastor Hank. Tien's here from South Africa. I just want to say that I really uh, love what you do and I am a dear follower of you on YouTube and um, and on Flashpoint where you talk on this moment and actually my heart is in America and I pray a lot for you guys in America especially now with everything that is going on concerning the election and, and everything and I stand, stand behind you and every word that you give out but um, that is not the reason that I make this video for you um, I really want to give you a testimony about what happened to me concerning an accident and speaking in tongues and I pick up that you recently in the last month um, either you or your, your uh, team posted two um, videos where you teach people how to speak in tongues and everything and that is really really awesome and um, now let me start with my testimonial and explain to you what happened now last year just before Christmas on the 23rd of December I was cycling to my mom's place um, with my bicycle and um, I went over a hub and as I went over the hub um, and I came down on my seat of my bicycle my seat broke off so my uh, um, the bicycle went away and as I looked down because I go straight down on my legs seems like like that because I didn't fall left or right I go straight down and I broke my leg as I walk down I, I look down I see that I broke my leg on two on uh, on this that stage uh, I thought it was only one place but actually it was in two places so um, long story short the ambulance come and pick me up and uh, they took me to the local hospital now on that moment they was deciding to which big hospital they need to send me because um, on this moment we're only a, a COVID hospital and they don't have any facilities to do ops or any big things so they only took the x-rays uh, from there and um, so as, as they wait um, for the ambulance to come and pick me up two doctors come and they say they're going to to stretch my leg so my my leg was basically looked like this my my foot that my just before my above my ankle my my leg was looking like this it was bent it it was totally off and as i hear after the uh, x-rays um as i said it was broken on two places so they went and they didn't have anything to inject me to take the pain away while they were working nothing so they stretched it and it was painful it was terrible painful but uh, normally people scream through the roof or they swearing or something and i'm totally reborn i love the lord to, to bits and just like you and um what I did, and I didn't plan to do it, but suddenly I start praying in tongues, screaming, actually, I was screaming through the roof in tongues, um, in such a way that one of the doctors asked me, are you praying in tongues? And I said, yes, I'm praying in tongues, and I just keep on, and I, I just go on, and I just screaming in tongues all the way. So... Um, they put my uh, uh, leg in casket um, after they get it straightened and um, shortly after that, I can't even remember that I have pain for a long time. It was shortly after that, the pain went away and um, I was just waiting for the doctors after they put my leg in the casket and then after that, the ambulance came and picked me up and they took me to Bloemfontein and where um, there was actually also uh, um, I believe that was through my prayers that the Lord answered those prayers also uh, because I could do it, uh, they were doing it could do it in the local um, in Kronstadt in a, a town next to Albron where I live and um, the doctor said the best place is Bloemfontein so um, I said to her, okay let's see because he said that I can refuse her and uh, she come back to me and they, she said that no, uh, Bloemfontein accept me and they said uh, they, they must send me to Bloom. So, and Bloemfontein is more or less in the middle of the free state in South Africa if you have, want to have a look. And um, yeah, then I was there and um, 
in a state hospital. I didn't have a medical phone, so I, I was in the road to, to be operated. And it is the festival season, so um, that was not a good time. Uh, and through Christmas, I was in the hospital before they operated on me. And um, then when I come out of the operation room, when they done, um, when I wake up, I also uh, experienced a pain again in my leg. And I just immediately start praying in tongues. And that went away. And um, that was so awesome because in the same time, I was able to, to, to also help one guy that was with me in the hospital to accept the Lord Jesus as his uh, Savior. So that was awesome. And I always say now that if uh, and we know that was not God that uh, do bad things, but the devil, but God turned bad things into good things for the ones he loves. You know that. And that was was that happened to me. And after I come out of the hospital, I just share um, things also about the Lord with one of the other patients. And my pain, pain just went away. And I never have serious pain after that, anything. And still now, um, it is now about the, the 11th of January, and I never have any pain. So I just want to share this testimonial with you and you can share it with your congregation or to whoever you talk to explaining about speaking in tongues because I believe that really really helped me to get through this pain and through this terrible um, experience where they pull my leg live where they didn't um, uh, make it dumb or numb uh, that and I feel everything and that that was terrible bad but I went through that and the Lord just killed the pain just there if I can put it like that so um, blessings to you and I love what you do and I follow you as I said but um, let the Lord be with you and and I, I really want to talk to you one day even that we um, might even meet in heaven one day it will be a pleasure to just talk to you and share what the Lord also did with, for me so you must have a great day and uh, bye for now all else out of South Africa bye